Hi, this is Edward Newton, uh, vlog, uh, vlogger today, um, at 7pm, right, we will be, I will be uh, letting you watch the, um, prime. what the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has to say at 7, at the moment, the, this is the news. As they are in Scotland for longer to protect people here and save lives and protect the NHS. Uh, she has the powers to do that, it's a devolved matter, but she has been saying all along, along with Boris Johnson, that her preference would be for us to have a four nations approach. We went into lockdown at the same pace, she would like to see us come out of lockdown at the same pace. Today it doesn't look like that's what's happening, certainly the messaging is starting to diverge. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon also See, uh, indicating that it wasn't necessarily amicable. Uh, she said that she found out about this change of the UK government's message for England by reading it on the front page of the papers today. She's asking Boris Johnson to be clear tonight when he does address the nation that he is speaking to England. This is, in, es in essence, except for viewers in Scotland, Northern Ireland, in Wales, who have their own message. And while people in England are hearing that we are to stay alert and that they are to stay at home where possible, the message in Scotland is to stay at home Full stop. Now Nicola Sturgeon certainly does have the powers to do this. The question of course is if Scotland's going to extend lockdown, how will furlough be paid for? That's the detail we have to look forward to. All right, Peter Smith in Glasgow, thank you. Rumours and reports of what Boris Johnson might announce tonight have been swirling for days. And while some might have been relieved that the lockdown in England will finally be somehow altered, many businesses and families say they have concerns and hopes about what might be coming next. Chloe Keady reports. Lockdown brought this construction site in Essex to a grinding halt. We lost purchases. We've had people who wouldn't come to work. Stephen had to furlough three quarters of his workforce. Many of the houses sit half built. Balanced at one end of a big supply chain, he says it's now the government's job to help get it moving again. It's one thing for the government to say, let's get back to work, uh, we, and we will be trying to get back to work. We've tried to keep going throughout, but we need a supply chain of materials, we need a, uh, active, willing men, uh, to, predominantly on site, people, to, to get back to work. My biggest fear is starting back on site, getting everything up and going, dealing with it, and then having to stop. We will have nowhere to go, but uh, to let people go. The, uh, this is what, uh, this is Bear and Bruce. Phil Carpenter is a personal trainer. Pump your legs, work your arms. That's Bear, Black and Tan, Jamie Shepard. That's Bruce, all black with white markings. Um, Jamie Shepard. And as you know in the background there, there's uh, some little goodies. On a little field, fish. A class to 20 people. Love if we them are all. Spread out, is that a possibility? That's our Bruce because again. for someone like me, that is absolutely vital. Right, let's get back to income. the news. Where were you when you heard about lockdown? In labour. <laughs> <laughs> Millie Best has spent her whole young life in lockdown. She doesn't seem oh, to yeah. be worried about it. Um, but her mum and dad fed the dogs have as well. They've yeah, had people, four scoops of biscuits. Um, Sorry I didn't film that. Well, Millie's great grandparents are hoping for a new version of lockdown that would allow so, them to so, keep so, so I'll bring you back they have to keep their distance. Um, in about, about in about just under good. 20 good. minutes. Good. Love you. Stay safe. Control the virus. Stay home. On the one hand, they want to see each other. And on the other, they want to stay safe. In case you want to see my lovely face. Here I am. The Prime Minister will have decided by now exactly what he'll be saying at seven o'clock, but there are those hoping it's actually very little indeed. Today we heard from a nurse who thinks it's mad 